Appreciate the Lord. Man. Glad to another day of life. Glad to be back in the house of God one more time. Glad to walk me felt. Seem like I just felt such a, a humbleness of God. Just I, I appreciate it tonight. Got to cry a little bit in the spirit. That's always wonderful. I love to cry, you know. I've heard people say all I ever get to do is cry or something. I say, I don't want to get to the place that I can't cry. I don't ever want to get to the place that I can't cry. I love the cry of God when it gets on us. I'm not talking about tears of sorrow. I'm talking about a tears that comes from, right from the heart. And it's a joyful cry. I love that tonight. I really do. Appreciate him for all he's done. Uh, woke me up real early. I don't know what for sure what time it was, but uh, woke me up, Eddie, and I just, you know, hit my heart and my mind. And, and I laid there for a little while and be, just began to think about it and ponder on it. And, uh, went back to sleep and woke up again sometime later on. It seemed like I just about just about shook me, you know, woke me up. And laid there and thought about it again for a while and pondered on it, went back to sleep and uh, woke me up again some just a few minutes after seven and I got up and prayed a little while just laid you know laid back down and got to thinking about this and pondering on it and just wondering you know and it kind of just bothered my heart I guess and troubled my heart but over it we're going to read a few places over in Luke the ninth chapter 67th verse, we'll read that one verse and we'll go to another place. I'll give you a minute to get there. <clears throat> but as I lay there, Eddie, uh, sleeping and the Lord woke me up, thought it began to bear on my heart so strong. Like I said, I ju it just about shook me. I know some of you just probably experienced that more than once. I've experienced it a few times serving the Lord, but uh, it is and like it just about shook me, Terry, when it woke me up. And thought it, I could hear that rolling over and over in my heart and my mind. But some people want to go back where I brought them from. And it broke my heart. I said, Lord, good Jesus. Why would we ever want to go back from where the Lord brought us from? Why would we even want to think on the things? That the Lord brought us from. And I know that it's good to say I thank the Lord for, for where he brought me from. But we don't need to sit and ponder on the thing. We don't need to sit and ponder on those things. Because the enemy will use that. If we will sit and ponder on it, Eddie, he'll bring something up. Logan, to cause us to miss something. Back there. And I sure don't want to miss nothing that's behind me. Sure don't want to miss nothing that's behind me. But over in Luke, the ninth chapter, the 62nd verse. And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. Oh, Lord. Dear, I would hate to die and leave this life and not be fit for the kingdom of God. Thine almighty don't rise to the courage as they spill the rags in the eyes of the Lord. That we, you know, we're just flesh and blood. Yeah, yeah. But he still wants us to do our best. Yeah, yeah. He still wants it, brother. He still wants us to put forth an effort yeah. to try to do everything yeah. that we know yeah. to do. Yeah. But he said, oh, man, taking hold of the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Yeah. I want to be fit. <laughs> I want to be fit for the kingdom. Oh, keep that in your mind. Over in John, 8th chapter, 32nd verse, if you want to go. 8th and 32nd of John. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's seed, and we're never and we're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou? 
you shall be made free. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is a servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Thank God. I was one time never in Bible. I was a servant of sin. It had me all bound up. Had me all bound up. Oh, the children of Israel now they was in bondage. They were in bondage. And they began to cry to the Lord. And he delivered them out of bondage. In other words, he set them free from Pharaoh's hand. Even though Pharaoh chased them out too, they were still free out of his hand. Yes, they were. Oh, Lord, help me. Whom the Son has set free. Is free in me. Free in me. Oh, we got one more place to go. No man taking hold of the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Who the Son has set free is free in me. I'm glad never that I got set free one day. I'm glad better that I'm still free tonight. I'm glad that I'm still free tonight. It's been about 22 years ago. 23, somewhere down in there. I'm still free tonight. I'm still free. But as he woke me up early this morning, he said, they are son. Want to go back. To where I brought them from. Now the children of Israel, after they was out in the wilderness for so long, they begin to think back about what they had back then. Now the Lord had given them water, man. All they had to do was smoke the rock in the water would come out of <coughs> Man, it fell out of heaven and they could eat all they wanted. Quail come out of heaven, they could eat it. I mean, they said he did it until they run out of the mouth. Yeah. But somewhere along the way, Brendan, they begin to look back at what they had in Egypt. Yeah. They did we not have cucumbers and God and Oh, Oh, more. Don't worry about what's behind you. Don't worry about what's behind you. Uh, Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. Thank God. When it tells us about the armor of God, it never said nothing about my higher part. It being covered by, I'm not supposed to worry about what's back there. I'm supposed to worry about what's in front of me. Oh, Lord. Galatians, the fifth chapter, first verse. This is the last place we read. Lord we are. Thank God. Probably not what you wanted to know. Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. Now listen to this. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. He said, take my yoke upon you yeah. and learn of me. Yeah. For I am thee yeah. and lowly in heart. Yeah. <laughs> when I got to have time with the Lord, man, I'll become free yeah. from sin. Amen. And I do not want to ever go more. I, did, but I don't want to go back to what I was laughing. I didn't get out and do a lot of bad things, but I was still lost. Yeah. I was still off there. Sure. Now I don't want to go back to the honest. Thank God. But just as sure as I'm right here tonight, somebody has been thinking on things that they used to do. Oh God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. 
Don't go back to the yoke of bondage. You cried and cried to the Lord to get you. Yes. And he came and got you. Yes. Why would you want to go back? Why would you want to go back? Can you tell me one good thing that ever came out of you? Uh, can you tell me one good thing that the devil ever done? <coughs> can you tell me 50 good things that the Lord has done for me? I don't have to stop at 50. I can keep going and keep going. Not be entangled again with the yoke of life. Eddie, this is yours. I'm not here. Son. The Lord moved on me early this morning. Oh, yeah. Early this morning. Last night was one of the nights, Eddie, that I was sleeping pretty good. I was sleeping pretty good. Very rarely happens. But I was sleeping pretty good. But I was happy to be woken up. Yes. Joy. Joy I was. But I love getting anything from the Lord no matter what time of day or night it is. Amen. 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 He wants to move on me with something. I'm ready for it. Oh, Lord, we promise you. Amen. No, man. Taking hold of the plow and looking back to see it for the kingdom of God. Oh, yeah. Who the Son is set free is what? Free indeed. Free indeed. Free. Free. Yeah. Free. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to be free tonight. Yes. It feels good to be free. Amen. Thank God it feels good to be free. Oh, Amen. Thank God it feels good, Brendan, to be free. Amen. Thank God. Thank God it feels good to be free. Amen. Thank God. Feels good to be free. Feels good to be free. Thank God, let us not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty for with Christ has made us free. Yes. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's kind of like that, you see. Uh, he was bound up. Yeah. He was bound up. Yeah. But I believe the Spirit of the Lord floated him out to the edge of the tomb. Yes. Jesus told him, Terry said, loose him. And let him go. And let him go. Amen. That's about the way I feel that when the Lord called me to be born again. He said, loose him. And let him go. Yes. Yes. What was he doing there? He was having to see him to get off. Mm -hmm. And to let me go. Yes. He said, yes. Why would we want to go back to the yoke of bondage? Now I don't understand in my mind why the children of Israel would have wanted to go back to Pharaoh. I don't understand. I don't understand. I believe they was mistreated. I believe the men, his wives and children was mistreated. Sure they was. Sure they was. Now back in them days, the best I can understand, right? They made their own mortar and things. They didn't have this ready, quick ready stuff like we got just out of a little water. That's it. They had to work and make their own stuff. He was giving them some of the stuff, you know. And then he told them right at the end, he said, go get your own stuff. But I still want just as much work done as when I was giving you this stuff. Yeah. What was he doing? He's making it harder on them. Making life harder on them. And that's exactly what the enemy will do. When you're a servant to him, he'll make life harder on them. And life harder on them. And he'll pile more and more burdens on them. 
But the Lord said, take my yoke upon you yeah. and learn me. My yoke is easy. Yeah. And my burden is light. We gotta stay with what we know. If we don't, if we don't stay around with what the Lord's brought us to, we're going right back into the yoke of bondage. We'll be done. Just as short term as I'm here right now. The Lord move on with us early this morning. Yes. Early this morning. Then he woke me up again. Then he woke me up again. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, why? Because it was so deep. Yes. It was so deep. Amen. I got up made. Yeah. I began to talk to the Lord. Oh, bless. I said, Lord, whoever it is. Help them to get their mind off. Amen. Help them to get their mind off. Amen. Yes, amen. And back on you where it needs to. Yes. He'll cause you to ponder. Yeah. He'll cause you to ponder. That old demons was with Paul. When Paul went through the little towns working, preaching, doing the things, demons was with him. There was something back there with the testimony of people <coughs> that caught Demas' eye. Yeah. Uh, tell us where he went back to. He left Paul and made the testimony. There was something back there around that caught his eye. Yeah. And he began to think about it. Yeah. He began to think about it. Such another word. Yeah. And he left Paul his beloved ministry. Yes. Paul was in prison. He left him and went back. Yeah. What did he go back to? He went back to bondage. Paul yeah. was in prison. But Paul was a free man. He might have been in the world's prison. But he was set free. Amen. He was set free. Amen. Amen. <laughs> was not in prison, in fleshly prison. But he was in bondage of sin. Why? Because he left what he owed. Yes, he and right. he went back. Yes, or he shouldn't have been. Oh, oh, Lord. Lord. Have your way, Lord. Every holy name. Thank God. He began to think about it, Randall. Begin to follow it on. Yeah. He said, I think I'll go back. Yeah. I think I'll go back. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It was time for them to leave this alone and get out of there and go on. Yeah. But Demas wanted to go back. Uh, Demas wanted to go back. Yes, the Lord got you out of there. He don't want you to go back. He don't want you to go back. We're about to. Oh, As I was away in there, like I said, he said, hey, son, I want to go back. Lord, He's not obligated, boys, if you turn your back and go back. He's not obligated. There's mercy. There's mercy. Yes. But the mercy door will soon shut. Yep. It'll soon shut. Sure. You can say, well, you say that because of this. Yeah. You say it because of that. Yeah. I'm saying it because God in heaven moved on me early this year. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He seen hey, that it was important enough yeah. to wake me up early. Yes. I don't know who it is. He didn't tell me who it was, and I didn't ask him. If he had wanted me to know, he would have told me who it was. Yes, amen. You know who you are, and he knows who you are. Yeah. And that's really all of it. That's really all of it. Yes. Oh. Let 
if you've laid something down, you know what happens if you go back to pick it up? You're going back into the box. You're going right back in there. Before you know it, you'll be consumed. And you're all bound up. You're all bound up. I'm glad to be free. <coughs> Yes, I'm glad I'm free. Through the sign is set free. No man take it all the And look at the spirit of the kingdom of the people. I'd hate to stand around in the deadly and look at the Lord of God. Look at the man that hung between the hair. And he'll say, son, you took a hold of life. And you look at it. You're not fit for the kingdom of God. Depart from me, you that work in iniquity. Why, I know you not. That's what I wanted to tell you to hear. I can't Depart from me, you that work in iniquity. For I know you not. That's the saddest word of time that we'll ever hear in this life. Yes. People say the saddest word I ever hear when this one or that one. Somebody in my family told me they hated me. He said we'll be hated of all men for his name. Yes. That's nothing to be sad about. Yes. That's nothing to be sad about. Oh, Peter and all these boys, they were stoned because of the name of Peter. Thrown in the prison time at a time, but they were still free. Amen. <laughs> How can a man be thrown in the prison out here and still be free? Come on. Because the Lord of God said, Who in the side is set free? He's free and he free and Thank God. Hold on to the flame. They sang a song. Every time I, I hear it, man, I think about old brother Jack. Yeah, oh, yeah. He said, keep your hand on the back. Hold on. Oh, yes. To the devil, he wears hypocrites. Jesus. If you don't watch him, he'll slip them on you. Yeah. Keep your hand on the back. Hold on. The wildest yeah. thing I ever yeah. done. Yeah. Serve the Lord. Oh, the keep your hand oh, on the back. Hold on. Jesus died just what he said. He healed the sick and the dead. Get a hand on the fire. Boy, if I let go of the fire, I'm not here for the kingdom of God. That's not what I say. That's what the word of God is. Oh, God, oh, we thank you this morning. When the sun is set free, it's free indeed. It's free indeed. Free indeed. Oh, God. You know what? I help you to stay free. Praying. Speaking God. Yes, amen. Fasting. Yeah. Reading the good word of God, applying it to your life, not speed reading. Taking your time and studying the Word of God. Yeah, yeah. See what it's got to tell you. Yeah. Huh? Now listen. Yeah, We're living in a time. I'm just going to throw this out there now. I'm just going to throw it on out there. Yeah, we done waited out this far. We might as well just go all over here. Come on. Come on. When the preachers get up to preach, how the Lord of God do what they tell you to do. Amen. Yes. Listen to the word of God when it's being preached to you. Amen. Come on. Amen. Yeah, God, you know what it'll cause you to do if you start neglecting what the preachers tell you? I talk about preaching to you from God. It'll cause you to go back into the yoke of bondage if you don't listen to it. Yeah. You start neglecting to do it. It'll cause you to go back into the yoke of bondage. Oh, we already out. Come on. Seems like we've got a problem. 
And I'm not preaching nowhere else. Like George has said it to us many times, we're not preaching nowhere. We're preaching right here. Yeah. Seems like we've got a problem. We have to preach the same thing over and over and over and over. Why are we doing that? Because people are neglected to heal. People are neglected to take heal. And you know what that will cause you to do? You will neglect long enough, you'll find yourself bound right back up where God brought you. Yes. I'm not picking on you. Not picking on all that. That man sitting right there, boy, when he gets an order of God to preach to us, we better listen to him. Come on. God don't move on somebody to preach something for no reason. There's something wrong. You have to hear the same message over and over and over and over. Yes, they are. There's something wrong. Uh -huh. We've preached things so many times. Yeah. I will preach it as long as he moves on. Yeah. Sure, I will. Yeah. Sure, I will. Amen. George will. I know he will. Amen. Whom the Son is set free. It's free indeed. Free indeed. Every little child that comes along, Lord, I did, I'm done. Lord, that's it, I'm done. Lord, we can't be that way. We can't be that way. Every week, we get tore up and flying off and saying, that's it, I'm done. We can't be that way. You got to be set free and stay set free. Not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Oh, God. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Now I want those two people to mind. Come on, Mark. Come on. Well, that's just the devil telling you that. Hey, I told them one time, there's some of them I'm getting up there. He is, I told them, I said, me and George are not equal. No. I said, we're not equal. That's like, what are you talking about? I said, people will say, amen, with their lips. And then they're out there saying, if I could get you outside for five minutes. I'll show you a thing or two. Come on, Come on boys. <laughs> George has told us different time at a time. They will amen their own condemnation. That's the truth. Yes. That is the truth. Come on, boys. What causes people to do that? Being bound up in sin. <laughs> you trying to jump on us, no. Yeah. No, no, I didn't have to jump on all that. No. But just as short as I'm here right now. Come on, let's make him. Somebody is dwelling on the thing mm -hmm. that God brought them to. Mm -hmm. That will surely get you in trouble. Yes, mm -hmm. it will. Surely get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with standing up tonight, thank God, for where He's brought me to. Bring me out of sin, but don't sit around and dwell on anything. Don't sit around and dwell on it. Right. I don't think it just by happen chance. All of a sudden, the demons decided, well, I'm just going to go back out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I believe he began to think about it then. then and dwell on it. He said, I believe I'll go back. Mm -hmm. I believe I'll go back. Look at Lot's wife, what happened. She looked back. Yeah. And she never made it happen. Sure never made it happen. I'd hate to look back in. And never make it back. Yeah. Never make it back. There's a many people right now. Thank God. Thank God. 
Are you going to be people right now? That would love to come back and have one more chance. They look back in and they're never about to make it back. They went back into the yoke of bondage and they died in I wish you'd heard it. Come on, come on. 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 I believe every one of us in here can set free. Say somebody in here that's looking back a little bit. Thinking on things that they used to do. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, Lord. <coughs> People are letting this down the map, they'll let that down the map. Come on. They'll let everything in the world down the map. We need to be set free. Stay free. Stay free. He don't need us. We leave him and we go back to the open bondage. Yes. Like I say, I'm going back to Waller in the camp, mm-hmm. in the mall. Mm-hmm. And they all they turn into the mall. Yeah. I tell them if it was so bad that they wanted out of it the first time, mm-hmm. it's not going to be no better if they go back yeah. the second time. No. Word of God never tells us. In other words, we backslide and go back out into the world. Mm-hmm. The, the devil will come back. Seven spirits more wicked than the first. Huh? In other words, the state of that man will be seven times worse than what it was. Oh, God. Boy, let's stay out. Well, I'm fighting so hard. <laughs> Whether you realize it or not, when he was in sin, he was fighting hard. The devil was running you wild. Yeah. Running you wild. Yeah. Well, we got something we're fighting for. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stay free. Let's stay free. I appreciate the morning. I do hate you. Amen.